Jesus fuck. When you want to look like a bootleg purse owned by some white trash hen. Greetings, comrades. It is I, your boy Lazy. And, uh, well, today the party brings you something very special. Uh, try not to laugh. This is Bad Tat Gulag. Starting out strong. Wow, you can't go wrong if you need everybody to see you as undateable and unemployable. Now, this is just remarkable. Uh, no way this guy didn't end up with this because he is not self-aware. He knew exactly what he was doing. Oh my god, it's Mr. Ice. It's Mr. Cool Ice. I remember seeing this picture of... I don't know. It was a long ass time ago. I've forgotten all about this guy. He's got it all. He's got all the back of his head and shit done too. I wonder whatever happened to him. Ray. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> Racist. Oh, come on, man. I fucking... I saw this tattoo years and years ago in some biker magazine, and I thought it was fucking trashy then. Don't tell me people are still doing this. Pussy Eater. Well, I think... Can't help but think maybe not so much anymore. Um... What is it with those stupid mustache tattoos? Like, I honestly think they're worse than when... The rappers get their eyebrows done. Family tradition. Does that mean it commemorates a family tradition? Or are they hallmarks of the importance of family and tradition? Uh, the fuck? Wow, remarkable. That's the sorriest look at Elvis I've ever fucking seen. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be De Niro or Frankenstein. I read about this one years ago. This one seemed a bit crazy. She went into a shop in Germany, um, I think, and she wanted the, you know, sometimes you get, like, stars around the temple or the ear or whatever, and she claims to have woken up like this and then tried to sue the shop. <laughs> Um, is this a Bible scene or something else? Uh, <laughs> what is this? He's got like vines and grapes, like grandma's fine china, and then he's got these bony tissue bagpipe things spitting fire out. Wow, look at the tits on this fucking champion. What do we got? There's a lot going on. <laughs> that bad Hitler is easily on par with the bad Elvis. I'm like, I'm like weirdly transfixed. There's like the bad Hitler. And then... I don't know what face this is. It looks like Moon Knight leering over his shoulder. It looks like he's got the No Fear bumper sticker skull. Texas. Shocker. It's a pretty low quality image, but uh, I'm pretty sure what I'm looking at here is a portrait of Richard Kuklinski. Which is unusual. Ha ha, I knew someone who had one of those. I like this one. I like that, the Emperor. Huh? 
Why, though? Do you just walk into the studio and tell them to fucking tattoo your face up like a CVS receipt? <laughs> That's stupid. That's not even the first Charlie Manson tattoo that I've seen. And it's certainly not the worst. White trash. Well, if there was ever a shadow of a doubt. I'm not sure what's going on here. Is that Wendy? From Wendy's? Okay, this this is really bad. The Cupid doll face and the anatomy is just brutal. Like it, I wrongfully convicted. Uh, sure. Oh, Mama. <laughs> Mama must have been a zombie. Remarkable. What would Jesus do? He would probably smite you for getting such a bad tattoo. Well, that's just unfortunate. I also remember seeing um, this one a long time ago. <laughs> kind of when Drake moved away from that teen drama soap thing and then he started Degrassi yeah and then he started rapping and uh, uh, and then all the women went crazy oh my god freshly hatched baby crabs pussy monster does that mean you're a monster who's a pussy Man, if you, as an individual, already look like 10 miles of rough road, then getting tattoos on your face is probably not the answer. Got a new tat. Jesus, come on. Mutiny. Mutiny on the bottom lip. Um, well, there might be a joke in there somewhere. I don't... Fuck you. Right on the forehead. What kind of way is that to greet the world? Another classic. <laughs> Alright, so there's a, an improved variation on the theme, I guess. I like that one. <laughs> is this one real? I doubt it. Guy's fucking decked out like a NASCAR. Oh, look what we got here. Professional pussy eater. Another variation on the theme. Mm. As if to imply that maybe he's a hooker or he does porno or maybe he's just a moron. See, like, I don't know. Like, I just, just some, like, I, don't get me wrong. I'm not doing this from a place of judgment. I have tattoos. Some of them bad. You know, I got piercings and all that fun stuff but like I would never space my nostrils I never even considered that that was like a thing to consider because it just seems so outlandish like what would happen when you get sick <laughs> or wanted to partake in some drugs or whatever the fuck people do with gaping holes in their faces that is fantastic <laughs> Australia in tattoo form wait what is the deal here is that like a perma bra it could be one of those reconstructed I don't know like you know like sometimes women will have to have a a mastectomy and um I read an article not that long ago that some of them just end up getting the scars covered with uh, tattoos. Some of it is, is, is remarkable. No, uh, it turns out it's just some old guy. Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> uh, 
Like, look at the guy's face. It really says it all. Oh, look, there's another clown who got himself tattooed up like a fucking handbag. Nothing says success like walking around town looking like a factory second clutch purse. Love her every day. Terrible. <laughs> <clears throat> um, McFuck face, I'm guessing, and a flying dong. Ah, oh, yes, strangely reminiscent of the white trash tramp stamp that uh, we came across earlier. Well, comrades, that's about all I can stomach for now. Thanks for checking it out. I was thinking um, to commemorate Halloween, maybe I would, uh, if the video game videos are still a draw, I was considering doing a long play of Shadowgate, which is one of my favorite of like that type of game from that era. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, Google it. It's pretty cool, and I figure it's just Halloween-y enough, and it's been years since I've played it, um, but I played it so much as a kid that I, I'm pretty sure I can just, you know, walk right through it. Um, I still remember a lot of the puzzles. So, I don't know, maybe I'll do that, um, or a live stream, I don't know. I know the clock is ticking, but I haven't decided... Uh, if you got any ideas, uh, drop them in the comments. Um, thanks for checking it out. I hope you didn't starve, and I'll see you next time on Bad Tat Gulag.